Hey everybody, I am the Mighty Plantain and thanks for tuning in to this week's beer review. This time we are doing something from Dogfish Head. Been hitting a bunch of Dogfish Head beers lately, but uh, once again, one of my favorite breweries and they have been producing a lot of beer. This is Fort. It is a, an ale brewed with raspberry juice. Now I had to look this one up online to find out that it comes in at about 18% alcohol by volume. I think that's just an estimation as the brewery themselves have not put a uh, number on the label. So, see how that turns out. Um, this one's, again, Dogfish Head Brew with that yellow label on the bottle cap, which means it's actually designed to be aged. We're going to drink this one fresh. Mm -hmm. Might go back and grab another one to age it in the beer closet. We'll find out. As I'm opening this and getting ready to pour, hit me up down below with a like and a share. See those links down there? Click them. You know you want to. You know I want you to. Because I need the attention. I crave it. I'm an attention whore. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Let's check this beer out. There's an interesting color there. There's almost a reddish tinge to it, but it's mostly what I would describe as a golden brown with a reddish tinge. Very effervescent. There's a lot of bubbling going on there. Somewhat cloudy, but you can still pretty much see through it. I mean, you're not going to read through it, but uh, it is a nice brown, nice golden brown with reddish tinges. A lot of fruitiness. A lot of fruitiness. A lot of that berry flavor. Of course, there's a ton of raspberry juice in there uh, based on the label, but there is a very fruity aroma coming off of it with a bit of tartness that mixes very well with the bitterness. And I suspect that the hop profile in here is designed to enhance the sweetness and bitterness of raspberries because let's be honest they're not just sweet they're a little bit bitter quite tart very pleasant aroma aroma I don't mind it at all definitely a raspberry taste That sweet, fruity tartness of the raspberry is almost masking the sourness of the high alcohol by volume beer. Almost, but not quite. It's, um, it's there, it's very subtle, but that sourness, that alcohol taste is uh, just blending with the fruity tartness of the raspberry. Whatever hop profile is there is just really blending with the overall bitterness of the raspberry. There's nothing that's really jumping out. There's no piney or um, citrusy notes or anything like that. I'm making funny faces because it's just because this... There's a lot going on right now. I've had a few beers. This one's hitting me pretty hard. Definitely not a beer to be uh, gulped. You want to savor this and sip it because it is very intense and there's a very high alcohol content in here. I don't know if it's exactly the 18% that I found online, but it is definitely high. Very fruity, very tart, overall a little bit bitter. The more I drink it, the more I, I taste raspberry. But up front, it's a high alcohol by volume, uh, bitter, fruity, sweet beer. Now I'm going to hit this one with a 4 out of 5. I really like it, but the, um, 
I think the acidity of the raspberry juice is just kind of disagreeing w with what I've thrown down ahead of this. Try this first thing in the night. You might have a different impression. It might just blow you away. But overall, I'm going to go with a 4 out of 5. Because I'm really liking it. And there's, there's nothing negative I can say about it. But it's not blowing me away. But the high alcohol content means that you've got to sip this, savor it slowly. And it doesn't seem to agree with other beers. So I wouldn't recommend mixing and matching. Maybe grab a couple of these and, uh, and stick with that for the night. We'll see what happens if I grab a second bottle and age it. Maybe I'll check in in a couple of years and uh, have a different opinion. Um, there you go. There's incentive to subscribe and stick around right there. If you have a beer that you want to see reviewed, definitely hit me up the same way. The email link or the comments. We'll see what we can do about getting it out there. I'm always up for viewer suggestions. Especially if it's a beer that you brewed yourself. I'd love to get some homebrewed stuff on this channel do a couple of reviews if you send me some of your own beer i promise i'll get at least two opinions on it if not three or more hit me up in the comments and the email link until next time folks definitely check this one out share your opinion of it with me i'd like to know if you agree or disagree until then cheers Thanks for having me. Well, thanks for the beer, man. So, highly recommended by you. Extreme Beer Fest this weekend. We'll be able to get a hold of, I believe it's the American...